Hi, this is Dan May at Ramsack. Welcome to this vlog on Microsoft OneDrive. This is part of a series of uh, vlogs looking at the various applications that are available to you as a subscriber to Microsoft Office 365, but are perhaps the applications that you're slightly less familiar with than the traditional Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So in today's vlog, we're looking at OneDrive, You'll find uh, a, uh, an assortment of blogs on our website at ramsack.com that look at some of the key applications uh, that may be useful in uh, increasing productivity, uh, increasing your ability to work in a more mobile and secure fashion. So what is OneNote? Uh, sorry, what is OneDrive? OneDrive is... Um, essentially file storage uh, based in the cloud. So as part of your Office 365 subscription, you'll probably find that you've got a terabyte of storage each person in OneDrive. So loads and loads of storage, far more than most people will ever use. Um, and uh, OneDrive enables you to store documents in the cloud, which means you can access them anywhere from any device uh, just by logging in with your normal Office 365 username and password. So some people might be familiar with applications such as Dropbox, uh, which does a, a very similar thing. The thing I like about Office 365 from a commercial point of view is that this is all part of the existing subscription. You're not paying any more for this on top of your regular 365 subscription. Um, so potentially this can save some cost if you're paying for the, the corporate version of Dropbox, for example. But also from an organizational point of view, this means that this is cloud storage that's under your control, which means you have some administrative privileges so that if somebody leaves your organization, uh, you can close down access to their commercial OneDrive account, uh, which obviously has great um, plus points when it comes to complying with things like GDPR. So um, just to start off with, I'm going to look at the web version of OneDrive. So I'm logged in here to my own personal OneDrive account. You can get into this just by going to your Office 365 portal and logging in with your normal username and password. And what you'll see here is I've got all of my own files uh, and folders, um, fairly similar to what you'd expect to see in a, in a file explorer type window. Um, and as I say, um, uh, I, I've got a terabyte of storage in here, so so shed loads of storage. Um, I can very quickly uh, create a new folder or add a new Word document or, or a PowerPoint presentation, for example, directly within here. Um, and I can just click into uh, my folders, and I'll see um, again as many file browser, you know, sort of subfolders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so. Where this is useful is the ability to start sharing and collaborating on documents. So, uh, for example, um, if I want to look at this uh, HR folder that I've got, for example, um, and I've got some folders here that I want to share with my colleague Sally, who's our finance director, but from a GDPR perspective, I don't feel comfortable attaching them via email and sending them in what is a relatively insecure manner. So what I can do here is I can say, well, I want to share this folder, or indeed, if I don't want to share the folder, but I want to share a particular um, uh, document, then I can share this document. I can click on share, and I've got some options here. So um, people within Ramsack with this link can view, or anyone that I send the link to, or specific people can view. So I'm gonna suggest uh, specific people, and I can determine whether or not uh, I want to allow the people, the specific people that I then share it to, um, to edit or not. So I could share this document, uh, and say yes, this person can edit as well. I'll click apply. I can then say this is for Sally Cooper, our um, operations and finance director, and I can send a message saying, hi Sally, here is the document we need to work on when we catch up tomorrow. Um, and I can send her that uh, directly and she will receive a, an email linking her to that particular document or if I'd shared the folder, that folder and everything within the folder. So a very secure way of sharing um, a file here without actually attaching it to an email. I'm just sharing a link. So really, really handy. 
uh, I can that's not just something that happens in in my own organization I can share these folders and files with people outside of my organization and your organization's administrator can set the rules and privileges on that so it's entirely possible to lock it down so that people can only share files and folders within the organization or they can share links externally um, or uh, or various stages in between really so have a little chat with us if you're unsure how to set that up and we can talk you through some of the administrative settings uh, so that's the web-based version there's an app on my mobile phone so I have access to all of my documents wherever I am in, on the go because they're all there in my mobile phone as well using the app but as well as the web-based version, there are desktop versions, both for uh, Windows and Mac devices, which integrate folders directly into your local file storage. This is really helpful for people that work on the road and want offline access to folders. So for example, I work a lot on the train um, where I don't necessarily have a reliable 4G connection on my mobile phone. So I've got the desktop application uh, installed and what that looks like in practice is if I just go to my normal Windows file browser, you'll see that as well as all the normal folders that you'd expect to see, I've got this folder uh, here called OneDrive. And here are all the folders that you just saw online. So um, uh, the, this just mirrors in a very familiar file setting. So here I can go into that same document that I was just looking at. It was in uh, Ramsack. It was in HR and it was uh, this one-to-one -one feedback. So I can browse all of that in the same way um, online as I would here in, a, in an offline setting. Uh, and the files synchronize between the two. So if I'm working offline on a folder locally on my hard drive, as soon as I reconnect to the internet, it will synchronize back into the uh, online version. So it's absolutely safe. This is brilliant for your mobile workers, your laptop workers that are bad at housekeeping and end up saving loads of documents on their desktop instead of sitting them on your shared file server or wherever you you deem files to be uh, stored now the reason people end up storing stuff on their desktop is because they think well i want to work on that on ho from home or i want to work from that uh, on that document from the train where i might not have internet access so they end up uh, you know, starting off with good intent, saving documents locally. But of course, those documents are completely unprotected. They're not backed up. If the laptop is stolen, uh, those documents are available to whoever can log on to your laptop. So encouraging users to save all of their documents in OneDrive and then having a local sync um, means that at least those documents are protected. They're covered uh, by the uh, the Office 365 um document control so the very worst case scenario is all the data that you lose is the uh, the version that you were working on during an offline time uh, that you haven't had a chance to sync yet but that's much better than the alternative so there you go that's OneDrive for business it's available from your office 365 portal and there's plenty more information on our website if you've got any questions feel free to get in touch either via the website at www.ramsac.com or give us a call on 01483 412 040. Many thanks.